Dude, why are you putting chicken feed on your lawn? I don't know. Let's find out. So let's get started. Hello, welcome back to My Green Lawn. Today, we're gonna talk about putting this chicken feed and this humichar down on our lawn, along with the microbial pack to get the microbes going. So all we're really doing with the chicken feed is we're throwing some kind of organic matter down so that the, the microbes have something to munch on. That in turn fertilizes the lawn, okay? So we put this chicken feed down along with the humichar. This is, has humic in it and biochar. If anybody else knows how good that biochar is for your soil, this is basically a soil amendment. If you wanna stick this down to enhance the quality of our soils. So it's kind of an expensive product. I usually put down two to three bags in my yard, 6,000 square feet. It doesn't do any fertilizing. You can't burn your yard with it. It's just a soil amendment. So you put it down as heavy or as thin as you want. And it's by the Andersons and they have their DG pearls and that's the dispersible granular. And I'll show you those. And if you do get the chicken feed, Make sure it's the crumble, okay? I guess that one works the best. I've been doing this for about three years, putting the humichar and the chicken feed along with the microbial pack down. And I do think it has increased the quality of my soil. So it depends how crazy you want to get. This is crazy. So let's go ahead and get this madness started. Okay, so here's the biochar and they're in this DG formula, meaning once this granular gets wet, it breaks down immediately and goes into the soil. Whereas normal granulars, they're coated or whatever, and it takes them a while to actually, when they're watered in, it takes them a while to break down and to be moved into the soil where they're gonna be doing good. The Anderson's DG product is really good and it does break down faster. It's almost like using a liquid because it breaks down immediately and goes into the soil. Now a liquid obviously is a foliar application and this we're, we're kind of applying it directly to the soil and letting it break down and do its thing. Does that make sense? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and add some water to those. Again, it doesn't have to be the same exact water. I'm just gonna get them both some water. I have to show you this because after, immediately after adding water, the humichar is already breaking down. This, it's just colored to water. It's, it's breaking down. You see if I stir this, the granular here is pretty much gone. That one there is not breaking down nearly as fast. This one here is practically already broke down. Okay, I can still see granular in the fertilizer container. I'm not feeling anything. I feel a couple of things in here. There's a, a couple of things. But do you get my point? The Anderson DG product dissolves as soon as water touches it, almost instantaneously. Whereas another coated fertilizer or product is gonna take a lot longer. If that doesn't make sense, let me know in the comments down below and we'll go into further detail in another video. In fact, I may have one on my channel already. But for now, let's continue.
All right, we went ahead and put the humichar down. Next, we're gonna go ahead and throw the chicken feed down. And then on, and then on that top of that, we'll go ahead and spray some a microbial pack. Okay, let's be silly and go ahead and put this chicken feed down on my lawn. Yep, it's what it is, all right. Chick feed. <laughs> Seems goofy, right? But again, this is gonna act as our organic matter on our lawn and give something for the, the microbes to eat so they can <laughs> it out and produce the fertilizer. So let's go ahead and get this down. Like I said, I've been doing this for about three years. So what this takes is a half a teaspoon per gallon of water. So we're just going to do a gallon. There you go. Now it's really awesomely weird. I just had my stir stick that goes on the end of my drill the other day. And you think I can find it now? Hmm. Nope, I can't find it. So make sure we put a gallon in here. Right there. There you go, one gallon. Get to use the paint stick. That's okay, it'll work. It I prefer not to do manual labor. You guys remember these? We're just going to go ahead and fill these up. All right, so let's get this bottle connected to this hose. Take my money, steal my car, and sell my clothes. You can take the shoes I'm in. Go on, take everything. You can have about everything I own. Just leave that old piano. Maybe a chair so I can sit down there.
Okay, thanks for joining us here on My Green Lawn. We've done a whole mess of things today. We went absolutely berserk, didn't we? So we got it all down. We let this stuff sit on here for a while. We might get some rain. If we do, that's fine. I would like to see this product sit on my grass for five to six, seven, eight hours, um, four hour minimum before it rained or anything on it. I just took a chance to get this done today. Um, we have a busy schedule coming up this next week, so I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to be playing in my own yard. Thanks for joining us here on My Green Lawn. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and show us some love. That look right? And with that, I'll see you in the green. You guys have yourself a great day. Take care, guys. <laughs>